Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And today in this video, what we're going to show you is how to install the OpenCV library onto your Raspberry Pi using CMake. So stay tuned. So if you don't know what OpenCV is, it's basically a library that is used for image detection and image processing. So basically you can use this library mainly to make projects like face detection, number plate detection that you see on highway tolls to just identify number plates of cars and vehicles. Basically installing this library is a little comprehensive and a complex process. So we will be showing you step by step on how to install this using CMake. So make sure that you watch this video to its entirety till the end to understand how to install OpenCV onto your Raspberry Pi. Over here in this video, I'm using Raspberry Pi onto my laptop as a headless display I'll be connecting my Raspberry Pi to PuTTY and VNC that is on my laptop and I'll be operating this on through my laptop. If you don't know how to make this setup and how to use your Raspberry Pi through your laptop, we have made an entire video showing how to use your Raspberry Pi through a headless display. You can watch it right here. So let me jump straight onto my Raspberry Pi over here on my laptop and show you step by step on how to install OpenCV library. Basically what you have to do is go to a terminal on your Raspberry Pi and just type in sudo raspi-config and it'll open the configuration folder. Just go to advanced options and expand file system just press that and it will ask you to reboot basically why we're doing this is that it expands the file system and there is no shortage of space on the system that we are working with just press enter over here and because it will ask to reboot on the next step and all you have to do is just press on finish uh, just one second finish and it will reboot now, press yes. Raspberry Pi is now rebooting and the next step that we have to do after rebooting is this. The next thing that we have to do is just update and upgrade our system. The way you have to do is just write these codes into your terminal and that is sudo apt-get update and and sudo apt-get update and just press enter. And once you've pressed enter, the entire process will be upgraded and updated. Your whole Raspberry Pi will be updated to the latest version. This whole process will take about 10 to 15 minutes of your time and that will be it. Your Raspberry Pi will be updated to the latest version. This entire process of installing the OpenCV onto your Raspberry Pi, the whole libraries and everything, will take about an hour-ish of your time if you're working with the Raspberry Pi 4, 4B or 400. But if you're working with something like a Raspberry Pi 3 or a 3B, like older models, it will take more time because the processing power of the 4 and 4Bs are much higher and much better than the ones in the Raspberry Pi 3s. And once this is updated, the only thing that you have to do is just update it again and that is by sudo apt-get update and it's done. It will hardly take a minute and uh, yeah, your Raspberry Pi is updated to the latest version. So the next thing that we have to do is install something called SnapD. Now the SnapD is used to install CMake onto our Raspberry Pi. Now all these things, all the steps that we take in this entire tutorial are interconnected and every step is really important. So make sure that you're watching this entirely and just following these steps, all the steps and not miss any one of them. Because if you miss any of the steps, the entire OpenCV is not basically going to install onto your Raspberry Pi. And yeah, it's just gonna take a lot of time and it's just gonna be a lot of time wasted because you just missed one step. All these steps are important, so make sure that you follow all these steps properly. It is a comprehensive process, but at the end, the project that you make will be fun and it'll be great and it'll work perfectly. So the way you install SnapD onto your Raspberry Pi is just by typing this code into your terminal and that is sudo apt install SnapD and it'll be updated and installed in no time. The next thing that you have to do is install CMake using SnapD and the way you do it is by entering this code that is sudo snap install CMake dash dash classic. Now sometimes after you just type in this code and press enter it might give an error and it might not install CMake. The way you can fix that error is by doing this. You have to go to your Raspberry Pi configurations and just change your GPU memory to a certain amount. I'll show you that and go to preferences Raspberry Pi configuration. And then once it opens, go to performance and then just make sure that your GPU memory is 256 and nothing less than that. Because once it's 256, there will be no errors and CMake will install with no errors. So once you're done with that, just type in that code again, sudo snap install CMake dash dash classic, just press enter and CMake will install onto your Raspberry Pi without any errors. 
The next thing that you have to do after installing CMake is install Python 3 onto your Raspberry Pi if you already have it. Just make sure that you just install this. And the way you do it is just by typing sudo app-get install python3 dash dev and press enter and install. In my, the, in my system, the python3 was already installed. So that's why it's just showing that all the new latest version is already installed. In yours, it might just take like a second or so to install and Python 3 will be on yours, Raspberry Pi, and it will work perfectly. After installing Python, what we're going to be downloading basically from the terminal is OpenCV 4.0.0 version. We are not downloading and using the latest version as we don't know if they're prone to errors and just everything like that. It's how stable it is. We just don't have no idea. OpenCV 4.0.0 is stable and works perfectly. We have tested it. So that is the version that we are going to be downloading and showing you how to. The way you're going to be downloading OpenCV 4.0.0 onto your Raspberry Pi is by just typing this command onto your terminal. And that command is basically wget-0opencv.zip https github.com slash opencv slash opencv slash archive slash 4.0.0.zip press enter and opencv will be downloaded the whole zip file will be downloaded onto your raspberry pi now after downloading the opencv zip file we have to download the opencv contrib zip file it has an extended library and this is really important for your entire opencv to work so make sure that you're downloading that too the way you download it is by just putting this line this command onto your terminal and that command basically is the same thing but just with a little little change and that is wget-0 opencv underscore contrib dot zip just https github dot com slash opencv slash opencv slash archive archive slash 4.0.0.zip and just press enter and your opencv contrib file will be downloaded the zip file of your opencv contrib will be downloaded onto your raspberry pi after downloading all these zip files what you have to do is unzip them <laughs> And the way you do that is just by typing unzip space opencv.zip and it will unzip your opencv folder and you have to unzip your contrib folder too. So the way you do that is unzip opencv underscore contrib.zip and that will unzip too and both your opencv and opencv contrib folders are now unzipped and ready to use. <laughs> move on to the next step now. The next thing that we are going to be installing is NumPy. Now NumPy is a library for Python that adds support for multi-dimensional arrays, matrices, everything of that sort. So we're going to be installing that and that's going to be really necessary for all your OpenCV projects, your image detection, processing, everything. So NumPy is going to be installed and the way you install NumPy is by typing pip install NumPy and just press enter and NumPy will be installed in a matter of seconds and that is it numpy is now installed onto your raspberry pi after installing numpy this is a really important step what we're going to be doing is making the build folder inside our opencv zip folder that we unzip uh, we're going to be making the build folder and we're going to start commanding and writing commands into that build folder all the libraries and everything will be installed inside that build folder the way you do that is by typing these lines of course and what they'll do is just make the build folder and then you start commanding and inside the build folder. So we do that is just by typing cd slash opencv dash 4.0.0 and press enter then just type mkdi build this is making the build folder and then just write cd build which is we are now writing all the commands into the build folder. And after you've just typed cd build, make sure that you copy these lines of code into your command from that is terminal. What these lines of code are going to do is just install and command your OpenCV to do these things and just install all these libraries inside the build folder. It's really important. By the way, we have written an entire blog just explaining all these processes and all the code, everything step by step is given in that blog. It's the first link down in the description. Check it out, copy and paste this line of code inside that. If you want all the codes out there, you can just copy paste them onto your terminal and the whole process will run. So make sure that you check the blog out and just get the code from there. Make sure that you check the blog out. So yeah, from the blog, copy and paste these line of codes and then just press enter. And this will take a little bit of time. I'm just typing this. 
take a little bit of time and uh, all these libraries and everything will be installed onto your build folder of your OpenCV. Once you press enter, it'll take a little bit of time. Be done. The next thing that we're going to do after building the build folder and everything inside this is just type in make dash j4. What this is going to do is compile the entire things, all the libraries and just start running OpenCV onto your Raspberry Pi. This whole process of make j4, just compiling everything will take about 30 to 40 minutes. So make sure that you're just sitting through it because sometimes what happens is that at 63% or something, make j4 can give an error. If it gives an error, there's nothing to worry about. Just after that error, just type in make dash j1. What this is going to do, make j1 uses a single core. It takes a lot of time, much, much more time than make j4, but it's stable. So just make j1 and it will just do the entire process that make j4 does. Also, disclaimer, do not use make j1 first and then just do the entire process. Make sure that you're just typing make j4 first and if and only if it's giving an error, type in make j1. For me, while I was testing this whole process out, make j4 did not give, it might give and if it does, type in make j1. And if it does not, just carry on with the process. It'll just complete the process on its own. So just type in make dash j4 and press enter and the entire process starts and just compile and open CV will start running. After the whole make j4 process is done, what you have to do is just download another simple small little library by just typing this kind of code onto your terminal and it'll just download all these libraries very fast and it just takes no time. So what you have to do is just type in sudo apt-get install lib opencv dash dev space python dash opencv and what it's going to do is just install and download all these libraries, python libraries. And once the whole python libraries are downloaded and installed and done, what you have to type in is python and just press enter and just wait for a little while. And once that is done, just, just type in import cv2. And once you press enter, the next line will just come like this as you see on my screen right now and OpenCV has successfully completely installed and downloaded onto your Raspberry Pi. And you can start working on all the projects that you wanted to through OpenCV onto your Raspberry Pi. And that was it. That was a comprehensive tutorial of how to install OpenCV onto your Raspberry Pi using CMake. If you enjoyed this video and if you thought this video was informative and helpful, leave this video a like and comment down below if you want us to make any projects with OpenCV. We're currently in the process of making a project of face detection using a Raspberry Pi and OpenCV. That video is going to come really soon, so subscribe for that if you already haven't. And that has been it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.